Oh, we've been invited to a party this Friday. How wonderful. You know, the funny thing about parties these days is that everyone seems to talk about the same things. Yes, sometimes I find myself having identical conversation at different social engagements. It can get so very tedious. I wish there was something we could talk about besides the weather, my job, or my hair. Or how much my rent is and whether or not I have a bow. But what can we do? That's just the way conversation is. Well, Veronica, Miriam, you are right. People just don't seem to have much to say to each other. Well, what should we do, Nancy? Just stop going to parties altogether? <laughs> <laughs> Why no, Miriam, we can't do that. How else would we meet men? Oh, oh women. <clears throat> Precisely, Veronica. So how can we have more exciting and enthralling conversation in a world where people only want to talk about the same old things? Well, ladies, what is conversation? Conversation is much like a hat. The haberdashery may be quite fine and charming, but it's nothing without the head underneath it. So it's up to us to put more than just feathers and ribbons into conversation. Yes. Let's take a common topic of conversation. What do you do? Now imagine, ladies, how could we make that more fascinating? Imagine. Imagine. And we do represent some celebrities at my firm, of course, but that's not my favorite part of practicing entertainment law. What I really enjoy is helping uh, artists with their work, you know? So what do you do? I'm a teacher. Oh, cute. I bet you're a kindergarten teacher, right? I teach projects in microscale engineering for the life sciences. Uh-huh. Well, I teach how to manipulate and characterize cells using microfabricated tools. My students perform laboratory exercises designed to introduce the design, manufacture, and use of microfluidic channels. And they learn how to make quantitative measurements using optical detection and fluorescent labeling. Wow. That is the most interesting thing I've heard. You are fascinating. Oh, go on. Deviled egg? Oh, no thank you. I have rehearsal in the morning. Oh, are you an actress? I prefer the term actor. You wouldn't call a female doctor a doctoress, would you? That is so cool. It's like, it's like Mike. He's not a male nurse. He's just a nurse. An Electra. <laughs> You're not a hostess. You're a host. Now you've got it. And Ashlyn. She's not a stay-at-home mum. She's a stay-at-home person. Yes. Wow. This conversation is so interesting. Oh, go on. Jello salad. Oh, yeah, don't mind if I do. Well, I've enjoyed a lovely career as a Dominican cigar roller, but now I'm basically pre-retired. Wow, this party is so interesting. Yes, it is, isn't it? <laughs> that was fun. You're right, Nancy. Conversation can be more interesting. That's one party I'll be sure to remember. Precisely. And we can help you, too. Send us your questions about how to make conversation more interesting, and we'll be sure to answer them in a future training video. Until then, remember your basics. It's not the hat that counts, it's the head underneath. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I ate too much salsa at that party. How about you? Oh, my. <laughs> I don't like punch punch.